All right, gamers, let's jump right into it. Uh, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is the name that I keep getting wrong. I keep calling it Stranger in Paradise, Strangers in Paradise. See, so, yeah. all right. Whew. It is uh, bright and early at 6 a.m. Uh, I didn't set an alarm or anything. I just woke up that early. Um, let's get into it. Uh, you could carry over my save data. I'd prefer to start fresh. Um, because I wasn't sure. I thought, we'll see as we get in. We'll see why I'm slightly hesitant. Gotta love those brightness settings where you crank that shit up and it barely affects it. <laughs> okay. Well, for the sake of the YouTube video... Uh, I'll, I'll put it right here. Because, uh... Sometimes that stuff doesn't show up on, uh... On video as well. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Uh, so this is a remake... Or a retelling of Final Fantasy 1. Which I have beaten. Uh, fairly recently. I, I played it a couple years ago. And, uh... I, I saw the appeal. I get why it changed an entire uh, generation. Um, I'm going for select character. Current battle set only. Let's do current battle set only. Um, I think that'll be better. Because I can kind of pick and choose so I optimize. Um, I guess that's fine. Controls, also fine. Language is fine. Uh, display headgear, yeah, I'll keep that on for now. Skip events that have been viewed, also a good idea, blood spatter. Gotta have my blood spatter. Um, automatically reassign target, also fine. Uh, soul burst animation be shortened, oh, absolutely not. Uh, dash controls, uh, I'm gonna go with... Uh, we'll keep it all three, I did holding X in the demo, and I didn't find it to be very good. Adaptive triggers are my are my nightmare. No, thank you. Uh, I'll do the fucking vibration type, even though I don't like vibration. Item pickup is fine. Okay. Display subtitles on. Display sound effects subtitles. I usually like these. I'll turn them off. Motion blur off. Brightness is fine. Camera. Also fine. Uh, audio. I actually had some problems with the camera before. And there's cross save. That's cool. I didn't know there's cross save. Uh, all right. So story, action, or hard? I'm gonna do action. Oh, I should. Uh, hold on. Let's see if it pauses. There's gonna be a cutscene that I absolutely cannot play because of the music. Is that Corneria? This game is super pretty. Is that the mad lad himself, Garland? Sorry, no, it's 6 a.m., but I'm cracking up, open a brewski. I'm on vacation. They made Garland look so goddamn cool in this game. Oof. <laughs> so I saw that set I saw that uh that bit in one of the trailers. And I was showing my girlfriend to like show her the game that I was excited for. Uh and when that blood splattered over his like helmet, at the same time we were both like, ooh. Like, I'm pretty desensitized to blood, but sometimes I can be caught off guard sometimes uh, and just be like, ugh. That seemed gratuitous.
I really can't stress this enough. Garland is a is a pretty cool design already. The fact that they put so much detail into Garland's armor is so fucking cool. Hey, uh, Garland turned all those people into crystal. You don't think that's weird considering that, uh, our, our main hero turns things into crystals, right? <sighs> Interesting, I didn't realize this is where it started. This is Tiamat. Seems so pretty. Ooh. I feel like this is smoother than it was uh, in the demo. Oh, okay. Oop. Normal attack. Evade. Guard. Right. Okay. Vaguely remembering it now. There's a stagger gauge. That's right. I forget which, uh, I forget which, uh, class that this is. Some of these boss fights being reimagined, not only in 3D, but in, like, this engine, and not, like, the Final Fantasy XIV engine, which is, like, the closest a lot of these have come, uh, is wild. <laughs> it's, it's just wild. Like, that breath attack is insane. Here we go. Manifestation of the soul. Probably for doing the first uh, crystallization it attack. Like it. Then why doesn't it feel like it? Jack, I don't know how to break this to you, but that was a goddamn Hydra, and you just broke off some of its heads. I don't know how, you know, how Hydras work. This is the forbidden cutscene. I'm gonna mute this part. Oh, wait, maybe not. I gotta be aware of those golden planes. Here it is, yeah. Now, you can't hear the song playing in the background if I've done my, my homework. Uh, but my girlfriend made fun of me because the song is "I Want It My Way." I, I assume, or I don't know. It's it's one of those old old songs I, that I don't know very well. The "I Want It My Way." Um, I mistakenly said this is a this is what a wonderful world. My girlfriend looked at me like before the chorus came. Obviously, I wasn't. I didn't hear. I want it my way, and then I, then it was like, oh, this must be what a wonderful world. Um, and my girlfriend was like, what? Or I or I called it a, a simple plan song because I thought it was another uh, simple plan joke. And uh, she was like, what? No. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. I feel silly now. All right, let's check out the trophies. I am deeply interested. All right, get a lot of uh oh man. Completed illusion at journey's end. Um, completed every side mission. Whew. Jesus, used a weapon ability for the first time. Um, okay. Fully upgraded the special effect of a piece of equipment. Interesting. Um, uh, unlocked every job affinity bonus for a single job. Um. That should be too hard. Uh, maybe, I don't know, if it's so rare. Unlocked every panel in the job tree for a single job. That doesn't seem that hard. Unlocked all jobs. Jack of all trades. Ha ha! Some hidden trophies. Likely plot related, so I'm not gonna... I know what the plot is, but I assume there's some weird twists to this version, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Wow, they're all hidden, okay. Alright. Well, that's, uh, that's what we're working with. I don't know that I have to do the tutorial here. I did this already. Alright. 
ready, 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 ready. Alright, here we go. This game does feel like it needs a jump button. I don't know how to describe it. The, the combat is too varied to not have a jump button. This is the weirdest way to say it. Yellow bar is a stagger bar. Yes, I'm familiar with stagger bars. Uh, soul burst. When their uh, stagger bar is broken, hit circle to uh, do a special animation, get some MP back. <clears throat> yes, yes. So I only did this a couple days ago, so I'm still kind of familiar with it. Soul shield. This is your parry shield or whatever. It's like your your quick guard, I guess. You gotta like do it right at the last second. Sir? I wonder if there's an ability later from when you do the special attack for it to uh um for it to like give you health back and stuff. Also, these goblins have a lot of blood in them. Do you like any ability with purple name? Right, you can steal their abilities. Blue Mage is back, baby. Alright, listen, you little shit. Hacha! Hacha! So, Stone Throw is a worthless ability, but it does a ton of stagger damage. You can uh, save those abilities up and use them for later, too. Lightbringer. I always forget to use this, and I really need to be more on it. Oh. Basically, it's, uh, it's Mega Mode, which is not the right uh, name for it. But all of your attacks do more break damage. I think you do more damage as well. What happened to the other two? Oh, they're there. But it basically re replaces your guard gauge. I don't know how often you can do that. I didn't really use it much in the demo because, like, it seems like your bust, out, like your ability to bust out when you're in trouble. So I was like, I don't need this. I'm never gonna be in trouble. I wonder if I'll get the uh, the Warrior of Light Armor, or if they're gonna redesign it or some way. The OG Final Fantasy 1 Warrior Blade Armor. <laughs> this cutscene wasn't the demo. I guess the demo really was just a full game. <clears throat> but just up to a certain point. Crystals can sense each other. You have one too, don't you? You got water and earth. Animation Not sure what Jax is. Looks a lot like darkness. Even though know. there should only be four crystals. Me too. Good. We're all in the same hunt. I'm Jack. Ash. <laughs> Someone posted a tweet with this scene and said, "This is literally just how they meet." And I was like, "Yep, it was." Pretty, uh, <laughs> they, they were just like, yep, here we go. Which, to be fair, uh, in the original version, uh, it's very similar. So this is weird. This is why I thought this was just tutorial nonsense. They're basically like, all right, our heroes go out and defeat some monsters. I'm like, they didn't make me do that? What? <laughs> very odd. I don't know why Jack has an o open wound. Need something for that? Hm. It's just a scratch. Nothing a little spit can't heal. Ew. When are we gonna fight chaos? All this monster hunting is a pain in the ass. I wonder if that's almost like a jab at Final Fantasy XV. That that's how the game starts before you can really do too much. Either way, time to pay the king a visit. 
don't leave without answers. I have to see it in in engine, but one of the things that stuck out to me in the demo was the in the in engine uh, lip syncing was kind of whack. The seas languish, the earth decays, but the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its. <clears throat> that Final Fantasy main theme. <clears throat> It hits different. Warriors of light shall come. That is, in fact, the prophecy. Uh, but all of the gameplay footage has looked like there's five people, which is confusing. Fool's Missive. Ah, Cornelia, Jury City with the proud Alabaster Capital, though it lives in the shadow of chaos. It's uh, noble people greet the dawn with heads held high. Uh, let's see. So I gotta keep reading these fools' missive thing because they seem like they uh, they softly revealed the plot. You could have slain even one of those abominations, let alone three. Again, it feels so weird that they skipped over that. However, when darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come, and your crystals trouble me. They do not shine the color they should. Can't argue with that. But you need warriors, right? Look in front of you. Here we are, ready and willing to take chaos down for you. This and game definitely seems like it's uh, setting itself up to have like a most. a twist reveal Perhaps. halfway through. Yet a question still weighs on my mind, warriors of the dark crystals. Because they're not the crystals aren't supposed to be dark. I feel like they're like. Splattering little hints that like there's gonna be some time travel fuckery, which also makes sense because that's part of uh it's not a that's part of the main plot I guess of like the original Final Fantasy one, like a hunger, the cycle. A thirst. Hmm. Does that answer your question? Why do you have an open wound still? How is it not like scabbed or like stopped bleeding? Fetch the key to the shop. My lord, Jack, Ash, Jed. I place the future of Cornelia in your hands. Thanks, King Puffy Sleeves. Do not fail us. <laughs> All right, off we go. I'm gonna kill Chaos. You think that X is going to be talking to people? Counting on you to save us from the darkness. I know you will. May the crystal's blessing be with you all. She sounds like the uh, the voice of the Moogle in most Final Fantasy games. You look every bit the warrior. I can imagine it serves you well on the battlefield. Yo, Queen, your Please king is right over there. You need to relax. I ask that you smile in front of my daughters. Um. All right, we don't need to talk to them. I did try to run up and talk to the king, but you can't even walk on his like little steps. So this is why it was confusing: is that it would just do all these cuts, and I just I was just weirded out. That's like, oh, this game isn't open world. What's going on? Also, she's playing the Final Fantasy main theme, or she was. The people love her. <sighs> like a flower blooming in a dark wasteland. Alright, relax, Prompto 2.0. Come on, Jack. Wouldn't kill you to smile for once. Sir, I've known you for five minutes. I'm not even sure if you're Jeb or the other person. And with a few more scars. Nah, it's nothing. Jack has the best medicine. Yo, you need to get the fuck out of here. You ever have your friends fucking cock block you? <laughs> Get it? Because he said spit. No is, there? is there something you want? There is. I need a favor from you. I heard you were going to the shrine, so I thought this would be my only chance to ask. A favor? Do, actually. Of course. There was a knight by the name of Garland who set off to battle Chaos as well, but he never returned. Garland, huh? If you could. Seems like that guy needs to get uh, knocked down by Peggers too. <laughs> That's a deep cut. That's a real deep cut. You don't need to go out of your way. Just keep an eye out for him. 
What does he look like? A uh, big bastard in armor. armor with a that was has a real deep voice. The fact that they got Garland's voice actor from uh, Dissidia is great, though. I don't know who... I forget the dude's name, but he does a great job. How old were you ten years ago? You feel like you're in your 20s, so this feels weird. Also, you have the voice of Makoto, so... Whatever you say, let's do it. <laughs> it's funny, uh... <laughs> what a use. When Jack was uh, tapping his foot, the adaptive feedback from the controller tapped with it. You have big, uh... You have big gonna die halfway through the game, or are the villain halfway through the game vibes? What is that weird music, and why is my controller going crazy right now? Uh, your crystal vibrating too? Yeah, my controller yeah. was. Weird. Forget it. We need yeah. To focus. Again, either she's the main villain, or or is gonna die. Let's get some rest. I'm calling it now, like the pro I am. Hey, Jack. Just the guy I yeah. wanted to see. This is what I was talking about. The, the lip movements look a little unnatural. Yeah. Great. Come on in. It, it looks like they didn't do separate lip movements for the English version. Like, it looks like they're speaking Japanese and they just dubbed over it. News of your departure will soon spread. And failure... We'll leave a stain on the king's reputation. Bro, if I fail, I've got bigger problems than your fucking reputation. Travel northwest, and you will reach the Chaos Shrine. Go with the crystal's blessing. So this is the weird part. I'm genuinely surprised that uh, this game's not open world. Or at least, like... Guided world. Um, <clears throat> I did so. I did check, and this is the exact same uh, world map as Final Fantasy One, which is cool. But yeah, I'm a little surprised that they don't have me like walk um, from there to there, which I found was a little weird. Uh, all right. I mean, there's literally nothing else I can do. I think, right? Can I? What's the way to do it? Main menu. There's a way to... Yeah, so you can... There's a smithy I didn't really mess around with. Ooh, my... They're level 20? Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so this is the uh, Warrior of Light sword. And this is Garland's sword, I believe. Um, very excited to use both of these. Where, what's the... Where's the shield? There we go. I don't know if this is the Warrior of Light shield. I assume it is, but I thought it looked different. I hope the Warrior of Light's uh, full armor set is in this game, because that shit looks great. Imbue holy break gauge recovery speed, ability damage doubt. I guess I can increase it. Powder of hope, dim Zirka. Um So you can talk to people. Uh, they have all these random people. I The amount of American names in this is so fucking weird to me. Like just like oh, it's just like Al and Dave. I'm like ah, yes, classic Final Looks Fantasy like names. Has finally come for your expedition to the shrine. I pray for your success and safe return. This is where all the like big voice actors did the quote additional voices uh, part. Yeah, I so I talked to all of them in the demo. They all just tell you, uh, um, hey, good luck on your mission to go uh, there. Never know trying to be here, not in all my past observations, it seems to have suddenly appeared, yet no one has paid this phenomenon any mind. Something must have happened, but what could have triggered this to appear in the distant future, in a place where no one would interfere? That's why you have to read the fool's missive shit, is that I think that's an architect or mastermind of some sort. And while this level's kind of short, they did do the the shrine justice, it looks better than ever. It was a, it was a fairly short dungeon, because it's the first dungeon in the... Um, the original game. 
but they made it look so grand. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Oh, Chad. Alright, we'll probably knock the brightness down a little bit, just to get rid of some of that film. Didn't work completely, but still. Alright, this is, ca or this is uh, Cubes, which is essentially the bonfire. Banish settings. This is where you can uh, change your equipment. Now, there are lots, you can customize it yourself, obviously. Um, or, if you're like me, you can hit the touchpad and optimize it. <laughs> yep, there's Rebellion. And then, uh, you can have two jobs at a time, and it's based on your weapon that you have equipped. Um, or how do I change the job again? I think it's... Yeah, you select up here. So let's put Sword Fighter. Which I did not try in the demo, but I have, since I have the weapons for it, uh, I thought I would. Um, so I get 30% affinity for both right now, which makes sense. God, this sword is so cool. Garland's fucking sword is so cool. Rebellion's awesome. Alright, so I did play the demo, and this should be the same. But, uh... Shit. Not to say that I'm perfect. That was rough. We can breathe. We can fight again. We can breathe. We can fight. Um So the way this game works is that every time you um you touch one of those crystal or one of those cubes, all the enemies respawn. A la Dark Souls. So like I'm only half joking when I call this Final Fantasy Souls. Um, obviously it's not as difficult as a Souls game, and it's not Miyazaki created, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's somewhat like it. Hell yeah. Nope. Idiots. Alright, level up. So you get, uh, potions, which look like materia in this game for some reason. Um, and they, uh, they function like Estus Flasks, except you can get them from enemies. Like, sometimes they'll just drop extras. I think whenever you go to a, a cube thing, they, uh... Oh. Let's try parrying. So I guess it's easier to stagger if you do the circle parry. Or it'll like stop them in their tracks when you do it that way. They're not really dropping any uh, any loot yet. So one thing I felt like I had to constantly do in the the original game was just boop, constantly equipping stuff. This I wasn't expecting the game to like have so much loot involved. Like I figured there'd be equipment and stuff, but there's equipment everywhere. Uh, so this is the first dude who, uh, who murked me in the original game. He's the same as the other goblins. Oh wait, no it's not, hold on. I, I got confused where I was. Yeah. It's, uh, I got murked over there. Staggering. I love that stock pot sound. Oh shit. So, not really concerned about the goblin. I'd rather make sure we kill the dark anus first so they can't spawn more. But more than that, I think when you, uh... I, th I think when you get rid of those, it kills all the enemies it spawns, too. Okay. That's, uh... 
those cubes? I can use it's a, a thing later. You get that ladder later. What, what's in there? Noise. <coughs> uh, enemies drop uh, items pretty regularly, pretty soon. Job tree. So you can only level up at uh, the cubes, which is fine. Right, more swords with infinity. Uh, this also has a fin swords with infinity. So let's uh, go through here first, try and get that. So affinity means that when you're not using the class, you still get more experience for it, is my knowledge. So like, when it says 30% affinity, it means that they get 30% of the uh, the experience. That'll uh, that'll drastically change as we get more equipment, because it's also tied to equipment. Locking is magic damage. Hell yeah. Alright. Fire did not work. If you can believe it. Nice. But yeah, they start to drop more uh more items. I don't know that you can level up your uh your party's abilities. Let's go. Let's go. So there's actually two ways to go around here, and I didn't know that the first time I came. Like I think you're supposed to avoid the bombs at first. I did not do that though. Sorry if I dropped the ball. Like you can go that way. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many of you. Oh, there's a goblin too, great. Goblin's actually kind of fucked up here. Oh, there's so many of you. <laughs> so you can beat these guys, you just gotta be very careful with it. Uh, your party members are a huge help here. Because they'll basically like keep them busy. go. Hell yeah, dudes. Let's get him. Get him! Fuck him up. Fuck him up. So yeah, you don't have to go that way. Um, in fact, I think the game kind of doesn't want you to. Because they can, uh, they deal high damage if they, uh, if you get hit with their attacks. But, uh, if you open this door. There we go. Should we take a breather? Um, there's a cactar over there. We'll get to that in a second. So that's a hermit club, which uh, is pretty important. That's the first time you can get a magic class, and uh, boy, magic is broken in this game. It is insane. Much like a Souls game, magic uh, changes everything. Uh, all right, so let's do that, and then. Uh, I'm going to turn Sword Fighter. I do like Braveheart, but I have to put it aside for now. Because um, magic is just so broken. So we have Mage. Um, okay, so I can... So you can customize your equipment based on which job you're doing, I think. Or maybe not. I think if you do it you can change the equipment per job, but optimize won't do that, which is kind of annoying. Um, or maybe it will. I, maybe I don't have enough materials yet, so it doesn't matter. I think that's probably what it is. I can hear that stupid fucking cactar in the background. It's driving me crazy. Um, so, casting in this game is very interesting. Not at all what I thought the game would do in uh, in this style. Also, I should uh, make sure I give my my homies something. Make sure their equipment's going up too. Battle sets. Yeah, so you can go to like to the side and just fight goblins. Um, there's another anus over there. So you basically like lock on 
or you can basically like show where you're gonna cast it and just launch these huge AoEs and you gain your MP back faster if you uh um if you cast it this way it also does a crazy amount of stagger damage so there's uh I think there's eight spells you can do um Oh, stones throw you son of a bitch. You keep So they all have different weaknesses too. Um I don't remember what goblins are weak against. Uh but yeah. There we go. So yeah, like I, I just got another potion, even though I haven't uh, been to a farm or anything. But yeah, so uh, magic is crazy in this game. It literally just crazy. Let's uh, let's try fire. Oh, they are weak against fire. Okay, very weak against it. Wow, my level up. Oh no, I guess someone else did the damage. Okay. It took a long time, so I didn't get to uh, do it the way I wanted to. Alright. Nice. Okay. And then... The cactars over there. So this is basically just a shortcut. I don't know how the best way to fight this dude. <laughs> I don't know what your weakness is, cactar. Oh, that seemed to do a lot. Stagger it! <laughs> no escape! Defeat a Cactar. So Cactars give you a ton of XP. I think they're like... I don't know the Dark Souls uh, equivalent, but they function kind of like Metal Slimes do in Dragon Quest type games. Um, also, this fucking tutorial has been on the screen the whole time. <laughs> but they give you a bunch of XP. Here we go. Um, I did stay here for a little bit and grind the first time I came here. Just because now that you have access to water, the bombs are nothing. Attributes. I am familiar with how they work. Thank you. It just... This is so powerful, like, right off the rip. Like, absolutely insane, in my opinion. Hold on. There we go. So you have a maximum, or a minimum MP, I should say, of two. Um, so if you go and heal, you'll always have at least two MP bars, but they can go all the way up to six. Based on how you fight and stuff like that. Which is interesting. Job tree! What do we got? So the characters don't respawn as well. I should mention that. That's a, that's a big part of it. Uh, more affinity. That's all I can do. Sword fighter. That's all I can do. So one thing I didn't show off is that at the bottom of all of these shows the different uh, jobs you can unlock. So like red mage, knight. Um, and then this is mage. They can learn red mage, white mage, black mage. Uh, I'm gonna go for black mage because it all all it requires is use a lot of the jobs require two different jobs to uh, to unlock the base or the next one. This one only requires one, so I'm gonna stick with that. Like if you show, uh, if you see here, this one requires mage and sword fighter for red mage. This one and white mage and black mage just require mage, 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 mage. Uh, elemental vulnerability resistance, normal attack MP recovery. I'm not really worried about that. Mage affinity plus 10. Seems like a good one. And then we're going to go with Brute Strike. A lot of the abilities for uh, for Mage are based around like physical attacks, which mean, feels weird. Uh, battle settings. I guess I got to do this too. I got pants now. 
Oh, it, okay. It does do it based on a based on the class. Yeah, that's definitely the better way to do it. I think by default it'll give you the best equipment for all jobs, and it'll give your party members the best equipment available. Um, but I don't like that as much. So this is better. No command abilities. What about this one? No command abilities. It does have combo abilities though. So basically, it changes your when you do R1, R1, R2. It changes it from Stormbreaker to Brute Strike now, which is you know whatever. I don't really not paying that close attention to it. I am glad I played the demo now, because I learned so much about the game. Okay, I can't really see. Yeah. I wish my uh, my party members could also do these these moves. That'd be really rad. Free potion? Hell yeah, dude! So I saw this earlier, or I uh, I failed to do this the way that the game wants you to. So there's a bunch of wolves down there. They're pretty fucking easy to dispatch with magic, but uh. A little secret thing over here. Oh wait, here's one. I didn't even see it. I don't remember what they're weak against. I think I just used uh, arrow because it staggered them pretty easily. Uh, reducing max break gauge. Yeah, you can do that with abilities and stuff. So I noticed this uh, this bomb up here. It's kind of suspicious. What the game wants you to do, I think, is just hit it. And then the fall damage kills it, and then it explodes and kills all the guys down there. Or at least does a bunch of damage to them. That's the, uh, the so to speak. Can I cast down there? Sure can. It's rad. I love that I can do that. <laughs> Hey man, you having a good time down there? Alpha wolf my ass. Hold on. Okay, was not expecting that if I'm being honest. Did not think I'd take that much fall damage. I didn't know fall damage in this game to begin with. Alright, listen fellas. I know we've had our differences. I'm not going to take it easy on you. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Oh, I guess if you destroy one in the area, it like chain it chains and destroys the other ones. I guess that's a good thing to do. If you can't if you won't let me like, you know, go back and forth on each one. All right. Got rid of all the wolves. They didn't give me too much trouble the first time I did that, but I do think it's kind of funny how easy that was. So I know I have a sprint button, but God, it's so much more fun just to roll. We know what to do. I don't think this one spawns any uh, enemies. Nice. So I think you could also use this to uh, to get down to the wolf area. There's like three different ways you can go. Okay. Oh, that's right. It leads this way. I don't think there's any special stuff here. Yeah, just another one of the ways you can get to this area. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, 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 cool. Constantly have to remember to do this. I've got a sick headband now. Look at that. Um, so if you look at the little next to the equipment, you'll see like little bonuses to a job affinity. That just means that uh increases the affinity of uh that, so I gain more experience when uh, I'm doing it. I don't know if affinity affects anything else. I think it does. It might affect how much like damage you do and stuff like that. But higher affinity is good. 
But also getting affinity for jobs you don't have equipped means you still get XP for them, which is pretty cool. Big fan of that. Okay. I'm definitely having a much easier time than the first time I did this. <laughs> this will tell you about shortcuts. Gotta love shortcuts. Any help? I just like do this. No. I need a helmet that like dings off it. Job trees. There's no reason to save this unless you're like there's an ability you want that's like specifically requires a couple things. Like I have three job points, this requires two. So like sometimes it'll tell you you have points to spend even though you don't want to spend them yet. On slot. Okay. I'm going to try and unlock all of these so I can get the next upgrades for all of these. Berserker, Warrior, Knight. They all sound pretty good. I believe Knight is like Paladin, unless Paladin's also in this game. It's a defensive uh, thing primarily, I think. But uh, we'll see. Thanks, man. I almost missed it. Oh, right, this is the Toro for uh, Dragoon and Lancer. I'm sorry, Lancer. I tried Lancer a little bit. It's all right. Um, I'm going to eventually level up all the classes, but I'm going to stick with the uh, Mage and Two-Handed Swords for now. It is rad that you can, uh, you can just lock on with these. Sir, there we go. I can't believe that dude hit me as I was, uh, as I was doing that. Also, you don't have to fully charge them. You can do a base level one, uh, like, you can just fire off fire spell if you just, like, tap the button, but I like to charge them up, since I think you, it doesn't take as much MP when you charge. I hate bats. Uh, they're not on my fucking favorite list, either. If you can believe it, they are weak to uh to arrow. That's all of them. Nice. We have time to take a breather. That uh that move they just did, seismic wave, is actually a very good stagger move. It staggers other enemies very, very well. I don't know if stagger is the right uh term. I forget if that's the term they use in the game. That is essentially what it means though. I'm excited for when we come back here later. Um, how things have changed. Like, if it just looks like more menacing. This looks good. Because it's nice. not, I wouldn't call it innocent, but it's fairly like, you know, whatever right now. It just, it's a, it's a big old castle. That chaos saves the biggest tower for himself. Still got a ways to go. Yeah, stay alert. Stay focused. Let me get some uh, some dragoon uh, experience now. So I think because I'm the the levels of the equipment are so all over the place, I think they're prioritizing level above. Uh, um, I think they're prioritizing level above stats. If that makes sense, so they're, they're like not equipping me with like caster gear. We got ruin. Nice. Oh wow! I can use this on other jobs. That's interesting. I, didn't, I, don't, I guess I didn't realize that before. Okay. Let's fucking go! Alright. This might be kind of annoying. Nope. Wrong class. Can you guys, like, get close together, maybe? Okay. I got that. Just make my uh my partners go aggro. Oh, I didn't realize they're weak to 
that attack. That's weird. So they will just keep spawning. Oh yeah, I guess I could use Lightbringer here, right? Let's do it. I'm gonna kill Chaos. I'm gonna kiss Chaos. What? Nothing. Say, can I turn Lightbringer off? But the game is like, would you like to re up Lightbringer? I'm like, not really. I guess that's fine, though. Also, it's called Lightbringer, and it's like the darkest attack. <laughs> Looks like some real villain shit. Um, but yeah. Moving on. That, uh, that section gave me some trouble. I, I definitely died a couple times in the demo, but. I feel like once you grasp the mechanics, it's not too bad. Like, the game's not, like, overly hard or anything. I did die up, uh, up here to these next enemies. Acquired an Anima Shard. Did I? So Anima Shards work, like, uh, almost like rare candies, where they give your, uh, they give your jobs, uh, some XP. I believe if you repeat missions and do them in, uh, multiplayer, that you can get Anima Shards pretty easily. Yeah, it even tells you right here. I don't need to use them for now. I'm not really uh, going too crazy. Tidal Tremor. That could be cool. It's a mace attack, though. I don't care about maces. This, uh, this remixed Chaos theme is pretty rad. I think I went with Arrow last time. I don't remember what their, uh, their weakness is. Just that these guys are bastards. Oh, it is Arrow. Yeah, these skeletons can, uh, kind of fuck you up if you let them. Nice. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> fucked me up the first time. So I feel like a goddamn champ, in fact, I'm just, like, blowing through them. There should be a toned area up ahead, too. I think you can see him in that room. Um... There's a couple different rooms here. The key's over there. Uh, the Tonberry's over there. And I think that's it. Looks more complicated than it is. Gonna be some enemies in here. You'll just put a, ch a chest at the back of a room and just expect things to be okay. Gotcha, bitch. Still fighting that one? Can't believe I missed! I should have locked on! Sir, I'm using you for MP. I hope you're okay with that. That was quick. Nice. Like I said, magic is like super broken in this game and incredibly accessible. Uh but also like it's very satisfying to use. It, it feels really good. To be fair, in the original Final Fantasy, magic was also very broken compared to uh, physical attacks. I think I used arrow on him as well. I don't remember what his weakness was. I never figured it out. See what's inside, Jack. It's not arrow, okay. I think it did the most stagger damage, which is why I did it. Also, his attack did so much damage. There we go. Lantern Smasher. We did a Tunberry. Just those classic Final Fantasy enemies. Yeah, uh, the Tunberry can do a fuck ton of damage if you let it. Um, so that's why I tried not to let it. Um, Alright, let's heal up here. Let's go to my battle settings. Even though there's probably another set of cubes soon. Alright. It's not. It's still not giving me different gear, which is weird. I really was expecting it to at this point. 
Is there anything better here? I guess not, right? The caster coat, but it's not really... I guess the equipment effects are so minuscule, it just doesn't matter. Also, this is called a caster coat, and it's affinities with Duelist, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. I think you have to have the job unlocked to get extra XP for it, so I don't think it's going to like benefit me all over the place here, but... Still pretty cool. Alright, I keep forgetting that I have party members. I was like, I guess you can use some uh, some gear too. So, they can only use certain jobs, whereas... Uh, can I change their job? I think I'd, I don't have one locked yet. But, uh, so they can only use certain gear. And certain uh, job stuff. Whereas Jack can learn everything. Darkness is so thick I can taste it. Is it? It doesn't really seem that dark in here. I mean, I could tell you this that we're also close, just based on the context clues here. But the the darkness comments seemed a little uh kind of out of nowhere. And the great sword. I remember that was a great find when I was playing before, but now I have rebellion, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wonder if you can level up the uh, uh, the weapons you get, or if they're uh, locked in. Job tree, mage. Ooh, I can unlock black mage. Sick. Dark crystal warrior's heart. Unlock an advanced job. Um, so black mage is rad, and I'll show, and you'll quickly see why in a sec. Uh, let's see Lancer Affinity. Then Swordsman again. Um, I, I mean, I can do it for multiple things. Wow, I didn't realize Warrior can use all those weapons. That's rad. Why does the mace get left out? <laughs> if you're going to give all the weapons, why not just get... Oh, whatever. Um, we'll leave that for now, I guess. B battle settings. Mage to black mage um, and there is some significant differences in black mage uh, so if you look at my little ring that I can cast now I have fire blizz uh, blizzard, thunder, water uh, quake, arrow, and flare whereas previously I had fire, uh, water and then these two, so they added blizzard and thunder and I have flare it's pretty cool I don't think I had a uh, I don't think I had it uh, this early last time I played. It is level 1, though. That is unfortunate. I don't think it's a huge hit, though. Especially not this early in the game. But I was surprised how quickly you could get other jobs. I really, really thought they wouldn't uh, give them to you that well. Or that easy. Gotta like the dynamic cutscenes where you can see my, my doofy outfits. I wonder if this joke outfits like a Moogle suit or something like that. Just, I feel like this game would uh would throw that shit in there. I am to become. And who are you? We're here to kill Chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. Really? God, he looks so fucking cool. The detail on Garland is insane. <laughs> it's so good. I absolutely love this. I just told you I'm here to kill Chaos. He did the pose! He did the pose from the game! So good. Alright, well, I'm gonna let uh, my, my friends take care of you. Okay. Uh, no, just, just kidding. Okay, I grabbed that at the last second. I don't know what you're weak against. Let's try water. Not water. Okay. Maybe I should guard once in a while. I'm more of a dodger. Hey, can you guys, like, distract him? Oh my god, leave me alone! I'm a caster. Let's try Blizzard. It's not Blizzard. Oh, come here, you idiot. 
I, I broke his sword. I didn't realize that. No! Get him, boys! Keep it alive. Distract him, please. Please! <laughs> Try Thunder. Alright, it's not Thunder. I don't know that he has any weaknesses. Oh, so the, the icon changes when he targets you, I think. Let's, uh, let's do some flare. Ooh, that does a bunch more damage. Come here. <laughs> Mage suddenly becomes physical attacker. Hopes and dreams. Toby Fox, is that you? It was darkness all along. In a JRPG? No way. <clears throat> My crystal. It's her. Yeah, just like before. So he's got the earth crystal. He has the water crystal. Or the wind crystal. I forget what you have. Water crystal. I believe she has the fire crystal. Which would mean that Jack should have the air crystal. But it's not green. Which tells me that the fifth member that joins our party is going to have the green crystal. And Jack's going to be like, why the fuck do I have this crystal then? Guess I was right. Huh. Feels like there's a story behind that. My allies and I set out to rid the land of chaos. But the journey took its toll. One by one we fell. Until only I remained. It was then that I finally realized the truth. Chaos isn't a man. Or a monster. No, I've played Final Fantasy 1. It's literally the final boss. It's just a fairy tale. I promise it's real. Darkness. He's voiced by Keith David. God, I hope Keith David voices him in this game. Oh, I didn't even think about that. It's easy to blame a single thing for all of that. It gives people hope to think the world can be saved with a single heroic deed. Even if it's never that simple. So I decided to become a sacrifice. I offered myself to the darkness and prayed to become chaos, hoping some band of heroes would defeat me and thus bring an end to this empty dream. Bullshit. <laughs> I don't think I can play that. Oh my god. I feel like... <laughs> so that was obviously in the second trailer, which mean, people meme the shit out of it, as they should have. I honestly think in context, I think he's right. <laughs> I'll say it. She's just like spouting JRPG nonsense of like, chaos is more of a theory than an actual beast. And he just... <laughs> she goes on this like kind of long-winded explanation and just goes, bullshit. <laughs> it just walks away. <laughs> He's out there. I Who among us him. has not felt to be has not I felt like they were Jack in that situation? I'll find him. I'm coming too. Hey Neon, how come your name is Neon and literally your entire Where's color palette is black gray? Four warriors of light shall come. And I only count three of you. We don't need someone whose heart's not in it. Then show me chaos. Do that? And I might even start to respect you. All right, relax. Deal. <laughs> I feel like the fist bump is so out of character for Jack. <laughs> he seems like he wouldn't do something like that, but it's also makes it so much funnier that he does it. Oh, this game. I'm so excited. Everything I wanted it to be. 
Falling in battle is added to the tip section of the menu. Oh, I won't be needing that. Thank you, though. Got some rewards for uh, for beating the mission, which is pretty cool. Alright, well, that seems like a good point to end the video. Uh, that There's your first look, I guess. Uh, I think I'm going to keep playing without it, and, uh, you know... Uh, that's that's the game. I, I don't I don't know if this game has legs for like streaming and stuff like that. Just I don't know how much interest there'll be. If I can, uh, I don't think I can make a separate save. But uh, if people are interested, I can play up on the uh, on the PS4 version and uh, continue from there. If you're like, man, I want to see more of this game, uh, let me know in the comments because I'm gonna play because I'm so fucking excited to play this game. So there's your first impressions. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna kiss, I mean, kill chaos.